we're back. We're gonna clean this ream condenser. This is the 460 volt 5 ton RK. Or wait, what, what was it? RAKB. We're gonna um, clean this thing up. I finally got a hose bib up on the roof. Hooray! I gotta clean all the other equipment up. But I got my uh, pocket hose. I love my pocket hose. Um, works good. Uh, but we're gonna clean this thing up. And we're gonna, um, I'm already working the bypass. This is a zoning system, so they had the 16 inch bypass going directly from the plenum right into the, the furnace. So I got, I'm mixing the, gonna mix the air and we're gonna see if we can get this thing to work a little bit better. As you remember in my last video, the compressor sweating back really bad. And uh, it wasn't doing too good. And the heater was going out on limit. So uh, we're, uh, Re-engineering the bypass, the zoning, and we're gonna be all set. We're down at the unit that had the bypass in the wrong spot. So the bypass came off the top and it, and it came down and went in the went directly into the furnace. So what we did using what we had existing is just uh, lengthen the plenum a little bit. The bypass is in a horizontal position. It's actually right there, going back into the return, and then the return. It's an 18 coming in the, the side right there, so it's, it's mixing. This is uh, out uh, outside air. And this is a 14, and so uh, it's a five ton. So we cut we cut the uh, box in over here, a 24, uh, uh, 20 by 24, a box right here. So now we're pulling return air from the bowl from both sides. So um, we got plenty of air mixing from the zoning system now. Here's a uh, different angle so you can see the plenum. It's existing, this, this part here is existing. So um, we just extended it a little bit and then here's our 18 coming in. There's our 16 inch bypass damper. And the damper is mounted vertically before now it's horizontal. So it's gonna be pl plenty of air mixing now. All right, the bypass is set up correctly. I'm just checking my final charge. You notice the compressor uh, is not sweating back like it was last time that the uh, uh, suction is a lot warmer. Um, this charge is warmer. The compressor is warmer now because the bypass is set up correctly and I recovered uh, two pounds of refrigerant. I'm probably gonna come back and uh, check it out in the summertime, you know, next couple months at least when it warms up. So really it's still not ideal conditions right now, but it's the same conditions I had last time. It's pulling about 65 degrees. Um, the building's vacant right now, so um, I'm just making sure this is uh, run properly. An RAKB060DAS is maybe 2.7160. My superheat has gone way up. My suction line temperature's gone up, liquid line's gone up, and discharge line temperature's Gone up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and go down below, and I'm going to um, I'm going to sh shut down. Uh, it has five zones. I'm going to shut it, shut it down. Only one zone is going to be calling. I can see what happens with my pressures. All right, I'm down off the roof. I'm down below. We have one zone calling right now. Um, so it doesn't look too bad. That is with one. Puny zone calling, and uh, looks like the um, plumbers need to come and hook up the condensate drain. That, it's not too bad, not too bad at all. Check that out. <laughs> Alrighty. That's our final pressure. That's pretty good with all that bypass. Not bad. A lot better than before. Alrighty, thanks for watching.